When working with Gravity Forms, there are a number of ways to add a form to a page. For example, if you're using the WordPress block editor for a page, there's a simple block available that lets you add a form and drop it on that page. Directly within the Gravity Forms builder, there are also options to grab the shortcode for a form or even create an entirely new page with the form on it right from the Gravity Forms editor. When using Gravity Forms with Divi, we'll be utilizing the embed button feature in the Gravity Forms editor, which provides us with a shortcode that we can use in a variety of ways. If you're not familiar with shortcodes, all you need to know is that they're very useful on WordPress sites and will always be wrapped in square brackets. They're often quite customizable with multiple parameters available to make them your own. In the case of the Gravity Forms shortcode and almost any shortcode you'll use in WordPress, their documentation tells us what we need to know for how to use it effectively. In this case, there is a title and description parameter uh, where if we set that to false, it will uh, not show up in the editor, which is what we want. So you can see there's a list of parameters and we can set title to false. By default, it's false, so we can skip that. Description, however, is by default true. And in most cases, we want to create the headers and text ourselves in Divi, give us more styling options. And so we're gonna set description to false as well. And if we wanted to play with these other parameters here, uh, this is how we would find out what they all do. Let's put all this into practice now. First, we're going to go ahead and browse to the Divi page that we want to put a gravity form on. I'm going to go over to pages. I'm just going to pick example two, edit in Divi. Perfect. And we're going to go down to add a new row. And I'm going to add a code block. Okay, and code block just kind of helps us keep things clean. That's how I like to add short codes to Divi pages. And then over here in another tab, we're going to go to our forms. And I'm going to choose this testing form that I have here. And then if we go ahead and click embed, we'll see we have the copy short code button. This is also where I mentioned you can create uh, a whole new page or post right from here, and it'll uh, sort of dump the short code on there for you or you can add it to existing content. It'll try to inject it into an existing post or page. But we're gonna go ahead and hit copy short code. Then head back over to our editor here and our code block, paste this, and then we'll see it pre-fills that the ID is for. Uh, title, it sets it to true. That's why we see testing there. And if we had a description on the form, that would be showing as well. We're just gonna set title to false. And in case we decide to add a description later and we forget, good practice just to, since we know we wouldn't want that to show up, we're going to hit set description to false as well. You can see the three dots or the um, Divi loading icon appeared there and spun around for a bit. And now it is re-rendered to show the latest and greatest of how this is going to appear. So we can hit the checkbox, three dots and save. And that's our gravity form right here inside Divi. While we're in the editor, it's also good practice to go into the admin label when working with code uh, fields especially and give this a admin label like gravity forms form one or something like that reason being if we're ever in something like the block editor here and we're like oh where's that um that gravity form if we just have a bunch of mysterious code blocks it can get rather confusing and so this way we can see oh there's the gravity form right there pull it up no problem and it makes it really easy to um administer a much longer page as your page grows and evolves you'll be thanking yourself down the road now that that is saved we can go ahead and middle click exit visual builder see it in a new tab and we can see on the live page that we have our file upload box ready to go it didn't apply any of the gravity form stylings i believe it's because we have the uh, box unchecked for apply the default gravity form stylings uh, in the gravity form settings on this particular site but we'd be free to uh, right click and inspect it and apply some of our own styles just using Divi code blocks or the page CSS settings. Uh, it's a bit advanced if you want a video about how to apply custom styles on just whatever you get back from short codes and plugins, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, but essentially we would just create a rule that targets um, an input of type submit uh, or rather just this ID G form submit button. Uh, and then we could just apply some styles like border none, uh, padding, 10 pixels, um, border radius, 10 pixels. And you can see it's already looking a lot better with uh, less sharp edges, some rounding to it. Uh, and there's a lot more that we could do there. So again, let me know if you want a full breakdown video on that kind of page editing. 
And what's nice is when you embed a gravity form inside of a Divi page, it still will behave as expected and you can upload your file, hit submit, and then it will redirect you to the page you're already on. You can see wherever that short code was, it'll put your um, thank you message or whatever you have configured in your gravity forms to appear right here inside the page. So it's not gonna redirect you, dump you to some random confirmation page keeps the user right here wherever you had them so you can keep that branded experience nice and consistent for them. If you have any questions related to this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, that's all for now. Please subscribe to the Websites Made Simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these and hope you have a great day.